Now it's time for the boob. Right, I need to read these instructions again because these ones are more complicated. Hi, my name's Paige and I'm the Vice President of Welfare and welcome to another episode of our Sexual Awareness and Wellbeing series. Um, today, we're gonna learn how to perform a breast self-examination or a BSC for short, as I've just learned. Um, so I have this lovely fake boob. Uh, which I'm going to use to demonstrate. Uh, we'll just get whoop, get the lingo out of the way. Boobs, titties, breasts, spine. We're over the awkwardness now. Um, so I'm literally going to read from these instructions. So let's just crack on with it. Oh, actually, a bit of information before we start. It says to do a BSC or a breast self-examination a week after your period ends. So it wants you to do it at the same time, roughly every month. If you no longer menstruate, do a BSC on the same day every month. And I'm guessing a bit here, but I'm assuming it's because like things will change over the course of like your cycle. So if you just stick with the same routine, then nothing will feel different because you kind of want to know what like the norm feels like for you. So you're gonna lie down, right? I'm gonna lie my boob down and place a pillow under your, it says under your left shoulder here, and then put your left hand under your head and then use your right, so if you're, so this is using, to talk about the left breast, right? So if you're doing the left one first, you go in and put your left shoulder back and bind your behind your head so that you can look at the left one. I'm gonna point at my own, who cares? Um, and then if you're doing the right, you're gonna go that way, right? So you're gonna start from the outer edge of the breast and move up and down in rows, right? And the rose always confuses me, but I think what it's trying to do is just get you to cover the whole surface area of the maraca. So you're going to start from the outer edge and use small circular motions with the pads of your fingers. So pads, not the tips. So I'm assuming tips is like, you don't, that, ow, don't do that. Pads is more like that part. Using the pads, not the tips, and then circular motions. So you're literally going to go like this all the way around. It's quite it's firm. You're going to go all the way. Around. That was inappropriate. Uh, and just keep going around and around and around and around. And then once I've gotten all the way around this side, you're gonna see I started down there. I'm gonna go up and just kind of make sure you cover the whole thing. And then you wanna go up there and just obviously I'm only doing this side, but you wanna make sure you're doing the whole thing. Okay? And then it says here, and I, I kid you not, gently squeeze the nipple, right? Let's try and all be mature about this. Deep breaths, everybody. Gently squeeze the nipple. I don't know what the point of that is, but that's what it says to do. So, then you're gonna switch sides and do this exact same thing, but on the other side. So then it has a little bit of further instruction. This one takes a bit longer than the testicle. Sorry about that, folks. While sitting or standing, raise your left arm only slightly. With your right hand, check the armpit area. Oh, so this is important. So breast tissue doesn't it just exist on the breast, it exists in the armpit as well. So when you're doing a check like this, you need to check under the armpit. So just to reevaluate what they said, while sitting or standing, you've got to raise the arm of the one that you're checking and you're going to check the armpit area and it will be the same motion. You're doing the same thing with the pads of the fingers, but just on the armpit, um, which I think people sometimes forget, but that still counts. So then, the last thing it wants you to do is stand in front of a mirror with your hands on your hips. This is like a power pose. Stand with your hands on your hips and then look, literally look at your boobs in the mirror for any changes. You want to know what they look like normally and then you physically are gonna check out if anything has changed because you're like the best person to know what your own body looks like and you just shouldn't really be afraid of that. You know, lock the door. It's just you in the bathroom, no sweat. So, recap, we've got the actual boob area that we need to check out. So we've got the padded fingers, we're going around in a circle. You're gonna give the nipple a squeeze. I won't repeat that, we're embarrassed enough as it is. And then what you're gonna do is check the armpit area as well. And remember to do that on both sides with both the boobs and the armpits. So when we're examining the breast tissue, what you're looking for is lumps um, and lumps that are unusual for you. So when you do this several times, you'll sort of know what feels like your tissue and what doesn't. So when you're checking like this, you're looking for a lump and you have to be semi-firm, like it might be slightly uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to it. You're looking for a lump, whether it's on the breast or under the armpit. And then finally, you're gonna look in front of the mirror and just superhuman pose, just, just check it all out. Make sure everything looks right to you. Um, and you're gonna do that monthly um, and roughly the same time every month, ideally. And if you find something, 
just contact your GP. It's better to be safe than sorry. We need to look after ourselves and it can be quite scary if you think you've found something, but just go and talk to a doctor and just look after yourself. That's, that's the best advice. Um, so that's me and my plastic titty out. Have a great day. <laughs>